Hi welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. I know I am back in the same outfit, but I recorded all these videos on the same day. And um, I wanted to talk about something that I'm going to be doing for 2019, and that is going to be a 52-week reading challenge. And um, a lot of people have these kind of challenges. But I want mine to be more of an intentional faith-based reading challenge. I love reading. I can read anywhere from 100 to 200 books a year. Um, I read a lot faster when I do ebooks, and a lot of my books are on ebooks or on e-reader. Sorry, but um, I noticed that I really want to start reading a lot more Christian faith-based books because I am the type to read fantasy, paranormal romance contemporary like i love a good fictional novel but i really want to start diving more into the christian side whether it's christian nonfiction or christian fiction especially because i have a whole bookshelf dedicated to christian nonfiction. so i am doing this and i do have a printable down below but it is the daughter of increase reading challenge 52 weeks of intentional faith-based reading and i'm so excited for this um and i'm going to just discuss it with you guys go through the prompts and um everything like that so what is it and why you should join so basically are you basically trying to read more books um that are more faith-based are you trying to edify your soul edify your spirit um are you trying to grow in your faith because I know for me, when I try to do that, and not when I try, but when I want to do that, I end up reading fictional novels. And though I love my fictional novels, I love my paranormal novels and fairies and werewolves and, you know, vampires and stuff. That stuff is not edifying me. It's not bringing me closer to God. It sometimes can leave, leave thoughts in my mind that should not be there that I know don't belong there. So, um... That's why I'm doing this. That's what this is about. This is really about growing in your Christian walk, um, growing closer and maturing through reading books that really edify your spirit, man, that really um, help you to grow closer to the Lord. So basically, this is going to be a Christian-based reading plan or reading challenge, rather. Um, for any member of Daughter of Increase, any subscriber of Daughter of Increase, or anyone out there, period, who is a follower of God in Christ. And if you're not, I um, mean, you want to dive into reading them, you surely can. <laughs> um, so what to expect? There are basically 52 prompts to pick from. Um, you can pick and choose. You can do all 52. It doesn't really matter. But there are prompts that you can pick from and you read books according to those prompts. Now, one book can satisfy maybe 10, 15 prompts. It really doesn't matter as long as you're reading books within these prompts. Um, and the goal is just to read and have fun. There are four different levels. So level one is when you read one book every four weeks, which will total to you reading 13 books in a year. Level two is where you read one book every two weeks, and that'll total to you read, reading 26 books in a year. And then level three is where you read one book a week, which will get you to 52 total. Yeah, 52 <laughs> books total for the year. Or you can do level four, which is a, spree, a free spirit reader where you can read as many books as you want to. Um, there's no set amount. So, 13 books a year by reading one book every four weeks, 26 by reading one book every two weeks, or 52 by reading one book a week, or just free spirit and read however many books you want. You can read two books for the year, 20, 100, it doesn't matter. Um, me, personally, I want to strive for a level three, which is one book every week. We'll see. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but let's get into the prompts. So I have all the prompts here and I'm going to run through the prompts with you guys. So before I do that, I do want to say all types of, um, book medias are acceptable, whether it's an audio book, an ebook or a physical book, paperback, hardcover, it doesn't matter. All media types of books are acceptable. I don't want anyone to feel like they can't listen to an audio book or they can't read an ebook. I'm going to be doing a mixture of all three reading physical books ebooks as well as audiobooks it really doesn't matter it just depends on you and how you focus when you're reading um i will say enjoy the reading experience i do prefer you know physical books because the reading experience allows me to interact with the text but you can do the same thing with ebooks not so much audiobooks i think but um whatever works for you do it so with that said let's get into the 52 prompts um so the first is to read a book about prayer the second is to read a book about forgiveness. 
The third is to read a book on beauty. The fourth is a Bible study. The fifth is a Christian nonfiction book. That can be any type of Christian nonfiction book. It, it doesn't matter what anyone that you have. Um, the sixth is to read a memoir. And a memoir more so that's um, Christian based. Keep in mind this is a faith based reading plan. Reading challenge. Ah, uh, saying reading plan. Um, the seventh is to read a book on biblical womanhood. The eighth is to read a devotional. The ninth is to read a book about self love. Read a book that was turned into a movie or a TV show. And I know this can be a little hard um, because for me, I know it was hard. But I know that there was um, The Red Tent by Anita Diamante or Diamant, Diamant. I can't remember her name. I'll put the cover here. That was actually turned into a Lifetime miniseries, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a book that you can read that was turned into a movie TV show. Um, there's also The Shack by William Paul Young. It was a book and a movie. I'll put the images here. So you have that. Um, those are the only ones I can really like think of off the top of my head. I don't know if there was any other ones that are like faith-based that were turned from books to movies. So that's a good one. I'm definitely going to have to do a, a separate video sharing you guys my picks so far. Um, the next is to read a book by C.S. Lewis. Um, we have a book with the word gospel in the title. A book about Christian living. A book someone said changed your life. A book by A.W. Telzer, a book by your favorite Christian author, a book on marriage, a book that is longer than 400 pages, and I think this one does it. I'm going to just show you guys this quickly. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're joining us for the book clubs, definitely, if you're going to be reading Redeeming Love, that is over 400 pages. Just saying. So there we go for that one. Um, a book you own but have never read, and I have so many of those. Um, a book about a current controversial issue. So it can be anything about um, the LGBTQ community. It can be anything about sex. Um, it can be anything about, you know, relationships, anything about racism, anything that is a controversial issue but has a faith-based um, viewpoint. Um, a book on singleness, a book with a one-word title adamant um i'll show you guys right now if you guys are doing book club again like i said this word this one would count it's literally one word adamant <laughs> so that book by lisa beverly works um a book more than 100 years old or takes place more than 100 years ago so this can be a book that was published like years ago but then you know republished or a book that takes place in like biblical whatever those always work um, you have a book recommended by a Christian friend, a book about joy or happiness, an urban Christian fiction novel. And an urban Christian fiction novel for me, what I think of that to be, is basically a Christian fiction novel written by a, um author of color or a minority author, if that makes sense. Um, a book whose title comes from a Bible verse, a book on theology, a biblical fiction novel, a book, a biblical fiction novel, yeah, okay. A book on a woman of the Bible. And if you're doing book club, again, we are doing the Ruth Anointing and the Esther Anointing, both by Michelle McLean Walters, um, which would work for the book on biblical womanhood as well as a book on the, a book on a woman of the Bible. Um, we have a book on Christian growth, a book about church or a specific church, a book with heaven in the title, a Christian romance novel, whether it's biblical or just a regular Christian fiction. Um, a book about Christian persecution. A book on spiritual warfare. And the one I can tell you guys to read, because I just finished it, A Woman's Guide to Spiritual Warfare by Quinn Shearer and Ruth Ann Garlick. This book was a life, you guys. Life. Whew, this was so good, so good. Um, so that's definitely one. A book by Dr. Tony Evans. A book about biblical prophecy, a book by a Christian author you've never read before, a book on any of the Goodreads Christian book lists. And um, if you guys don't know what Goodreads is, Goodreads is kind of similar to like Instagram and Facebook, but it's more so book related. I do have a link to the Daughter of Increase Goodreads account because I created a separate one just because I don't want to keep um, 
keep it combined with the regular books that I read because I, like I said I read a lot of adult novels I read paranormal and romance and fantasy and all that so I created a separate daughter of increase goodreads account that you guys can follow along and with that you can see what I'm reading how far along I am in the book my thoughts on what I've read so far like it's really really great it's literally a combination of Facebook and Twitter to me and Instagram so great so um, I'll leave a link down below to goodreads if you guys are interested in signing up for it um, Number 42 is a book about a book in the Bible. Yeah, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, a book on or about depression. A Christian fiction book with a beautiful cover. And that can be any book. Like a, a fiction novel that's um, romance related. A Christian fantasy. I've read Christian fantasy before. So good. So as long as it has a beautiful cover, it works. A book with 100 pages or less. And I believe these count for that. I'm not sure. Let's see. I think these have a little over 100 pages, though. Yeah, these have over 100 pages. I don't count. But any book that's, like, short with less than 100 pages. Um, a historical Christian fiction. A book on love. And when I say a book on love, not self-love. I do have number nine as a book about self-love. Um, but then a book that's strictly on love. So loving others. Loving, um... Your husband loving your your wife loving whatever and when i say wife i'm talking to men out there um so a book on love um a book by ted decker a book with god in the title a book with jesus or christ in the title a book of the bible you haven't read so this one actually pertains to you getting your bible and reading a book in the bible that you haven't read yet um and a book of your choice is the final one so those are all 52 of the prompts that I just read through. I am going to have a separate video in which I'm going to pick 10 of these prompts to start off with and then share with you guys. I'm probably going to do them in 10s just because like I said there's a lot of books. There's a lot. Or I might do them in the sections that they're in. I don't know. It's 52 so I might break this up into um, a two or three part video when I share with you guys the books that I'm going to read and hopefully I can have that video up for you guys in January so you guys can see um, the books that I'm picking so that is it for this video if you guys are interested in joining um there's really not much to it just comment down below and say you're joining in that's pretty much it um if you're gonna join i will have a hashtag i'm not sure what the hashtag is because i can't remember what i said it was going to be i think it was doi reading challenge not sure so the hashtag will be <laughs> listed on the screen as well as down below after i remember what the hashtag was supposed to be but um yeah just hashtag if you're posting on instagram or if you're posting on twitter and um yeah just have fun this is not meant to be a stressful thing this is not meant to force you to read it's meant to um help you just mature in your faith mature in your walk grow in your walk and obviously to get you to read more but have fun with this don't be stressed out i mean if you want to write in your books write in your books i have written marked up annotated like like i said i just finished this book and this book was so good i've tabbed marked written highlighted everything so have fun it is not meant to deter you from enjoying reading reading should always be a fun a time a fun experience some people don't enjoy it unfortunately i love reading i've always learned to make reading a fun thing and i feel that annotating your books allow you to interact and have more fun with the book so that is it if you're joining thumbs up this video share this video comment down below say you're joining use the hashtag that i put on the screen because i can't remember what the hashtag is but um i will have a video in january sharing the first 10 books that i'm going to be reading that has to do with this prompt with these prompts so i'm going to pick 10 prompts out of this and um let you guys know which books will be picked that's how i'm going to do it so i'm going to do 10 each time so it's probably going to be five five videos five or four videos with um the books that i'll be reading for the prompts I think that's it because I'm rambling. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you stay tuned for more videos. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.